guys? Welcome back to the Movement and Performance Project. Today we're going to look at how to open up that tight chest, that anterior neck. I'm not sure if you guys do this at all, but when I text sometimes, I catch myself with my head forward and no shoulders rounded and being right here, or even sitting and slouching on the chair. So this becomes a habitual posture and it only reinforces this tight neck, that tight pec. Anytime you train your biceps or do some flies, it only further reinforces this. So chin-ups also, this gorilla posture right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a ball. This is a lacrosse ball. I find it works best. You can use an orange hockey ball, a baseball, softball, anything really that'll get in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to do put that ball right underneath that collarbone, right where that pec comes up to the collarbone in that first rib. And we're going to roll right from here all the way to that little pocket where the chest meets the shoulder. We're going to go back and forth 10 times. And then we're going to roll on that shoulder, on that bicep tendon, right up here. So we're gonna put pressure on the wall right here, underneath it, and then roll forward, or to the side, excuse me, right up to that shoulder, and then coming on back. I like to say at least 10 times, because 10 is a nice even number, but if you find a spot that sucks, that's really like, ooh, that hurts, that's really knotted, we can stay there, and we can move that arm up and down, and obviously the more pressure you put into the wall, the more you're gonna feel it, the more that's gonna open up. So this is one, the initial technique I like to use. One other technique, taking this from some active release, is we are going to take, I have a barbell right here, we just as easily can use anything at all, even your fingers or hand. So what we're going to do is I'm going to lean, I'm going to close down that muscle, make it very short. I'm going to pin down the muscle, and then I'm going to open it up. So this is going to help open up all that tissue, that dense, and taking that shoulder joint through a range of motion. So this is an attempt to open up that tight pec, get out of this position and teach us to be a little more open over here. So again, finding the spot that sucks, that's really tight. I have to go over that pec minor, which is pretty much that junction, a little bump between your shoulder and your chest. And boom, right there, all the way open. So again, we'll try this 10 times, find a spot, close it down, Open it way up. The same thing can be done with your hand, but I find it a lot easier to lean to something to add extra pressure. Last thing, the third thing, super simple, it doesn't have to be complicated to work. Chest stretch, nothing crazy. Staying nice and tall, turning my chest out away from the wall, getting that shoulder out of the ear. So one thing is when you're in this position, see this thumb? Let's roll it off the wall a little bit. I personally find you feel a nice stretch on the bicep up to the shoulder. I can be a little tight in there, I know I am. But you be the judge of how you're feeling. So coming over here, instead of holding five to 10 seconds, as you can normally do, let's do five to 10 breaths. So that way we can use the breath to help us open up the chest. As we breathe out, we can sing into it some more. There you go. Give those three a shot before you lift or after you lift. Both of those are my personal favorite. Let me know what you think. I'll see you back here tomorrow. If you don't have one of these lacrosse balls, go get it. It's worth it. See you tomorrow.